Béla III, one of the most powerful rulers of medieval Hungary, reigned from 1172 to 1196 during the height of the Arpad dynasty. Educated at the Byzantine court, he brought with him a refined sense of governance and ambition that would shape Hungary into a true Central European power. Béla III was a proud relative of the great Saint Ladislaus I through the illustrious Arpad dynasty. Ladislaus I himself was the son of Béla I of Hungary and reigned from 1077 to 1095, remembered as a pious warrior king and later canonized as a saint. Though Ladislaus had no surviving sons, the Arpad line continued through his brothers, Giza I and later Almas. From this branch descended Almas's son, King Béla II, the Blind, whose son Giza II fathered Béla III. Thus, Béla III Ardi's paternal line ran directly back through Béla II, Giza I, and ultimately to the brotherhood of Ladislaus I, tying him firmly to the sainted king's legacy. Béla III Ardi's lineage was further strengthened by dynastic marriages. His grandfather, Béla II, had married Helena of Rascia, linking the Arpids with the Serbian royal house. Béla III himself spent years in Byzantium, where he was once betrothed to a daughter of Emperor Manuel I Comnenos, though the marriage never took place. Instead, he wed Agnes of Antioch, a French noblewoman from the Crusader States, and later Margaret of France, widow of Henry the Young King of England. Through these unions, Béla not only reinforced Hungary's ties with both East and West, but also expanded his dynasty's reach across Europe. For this video, I gathered the raw genome of Béla III from the European Nucleotide Archive. Here are his FST distances to some modern human populations. The closest populations to Béla, genetically, are Slavic nations such as Croats, Poles, Czechs, Bulgarians, and Ukrainians. Surprisingly, Hungarians only show up in seventh place, being quite distant from him. A Mesolithic Kbatum run reveals that Bela was a typical Central European, but with additional 3% Siberian ancestry, a relic of his Magyar ancestry. This is significantly lower than Saint Ladislaus, who carried 9% Siberian ancestry. Bela carried 1.4% Neanderthal ancestry, which is typical for Eastern Europeans. A Bronze Age Kpatum model reveals that Bela had around 43% Proto-Indo-European ancestry, 54% European farmer ancestry, and on top of that additional 3% Neo-Siberian ancestry, mediated to him through Magyar conquerors. I ran an early medieval model on Bela III using Edmixtols II. He ended up scoring 44% Slavic, 52.2% Dacian, and 3.8% Magyar. Here is what he scores with my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. He is predicted to have light hazel eyes, medium brown hair, light olive skin tone, wavy hair, and a Greek nose shape. He was predicted to be a warrior based on his COMT, MAOA, and MAOB genotypes. This implies that he would have quicker dopamine reuptake and lower dopamine levels. He was predicted to have intermediate D2 receptor availability which implies intermediate odds of schizophrenia and intermediate odds of ADHD and addiction. He was predicted to have lower odds of autism. He was definitely lactase persistent, which is very different from Ladislaus who wasn't. Bella was predicted to have lower levels of empathy and lower odds of a wide range of cardiovascular issues. He was predicted to have higher odds of epithelial cancers based on his 8Q24 genotypes. Bella scored low for odds of autoimmune disease based on HLA genotypes. Bella was predicted to have intermediate homocysteine levels, which implies intermediate risk of such conditions as heart disease or hypertension. He carried two risk variants for colorblindness in the OPN1SW gene. This gene is particularly implicated in blue-yellow colorblindness. Bella was predicted to have lower odds of obesity. Just like St. Ladislaus, Bella was also the carrier of the rare AB blood type. Although it is also statistically possible for him to have the B blood type, Bella was predicted to have higher levels of bad LDL cholesterol and lower levels of good HDL cholesterol, which is a tendency typical for Europeans with my trait predictor. Bella scored particularly high for the risk of exfoliation glaucoma, AMD, rheumatoid arthritis, Tourette's, myopia, and type 1 diabetes. He scored particularly low for the risk of testicular cancer, Alzheimer's, schizophrenia, 
bipolar disorder type 1, cardiovascular issues, DVT, atrial fibrillation, and eczema. He carried rare risk variants for familial Mediterranean fever, alcaptonuria, Finnish major salad disease, deafness, porphyria, IBS, and FD. You can purchase his genome in 23andMe format from the link in description of the video. Links to my tools and services will also be in the description.